better. Introducing Fundamental Bass from WA Production. Every producer needs a solid foundation to their track, and for most, that will start with the bass. The dynamic range of low-end material can be huge, so mixers can become unbalanced unless you compress and center your bass line. But using traditional compression techniques often sucks the life out of your low end. That's where Fundamental Bass comes in, giving you a quick way to tighten up the dynamics of your low end whilst keeping the snap and sparkle of mids and highs. Running as a multi-format plugin for Mac and PC, Fundamental Bass uses an adjustable frequency split to feed two separate modules with independent compression, stereo width and drive. There's also a comprehensive range of presets. So let's dive in. And as we're dealing with bass lines and stereo width, make sure to listen through headphones or decent monitors as the changes can be subtle. First up, here's some before and after examples, leveling out each bass line's dynamics and stereo field whilst ensuring they still sound lively. This is the interface with very definite areas for low frequency processing in green and high frequency processing in yellow. You can see what's happening to the audio with the green and yellow frequency spectrums just here. The exact frequency where the signal is split is dictated by this line, which you can drag around. The easiest way for me to show this is to solo the high and low modules with these two buttons. Then by dragging the split marker, you can hear where the crossover occurs. So far so good, but we haven't yet processed the audio going through either of the modules. The two modules are similar, with both having compression balance, mix ratio and stereo width controls. But each module has a unique control too. Flatten for low end and drive for high end. More on those in a bit. Splitting bass audio into two frequency ranges and processing them separately ensures that the low end is smoothly compressed without losing the excitement of mid and high range frequency dynamics. Let's solo the low end and deal with that first. This balance dial sets a compression level with up to minus 60 dB attenuation. You can always push the gain up to match the original level with the slider just here. The flatten dial is a more aggressive compressor used for evening out the dynamics of really bouncy bass lines or acoustic material with a wide dynamic range. You can experiment with the crossover and these two compression dials to control dynamics while still maintaining the groove. You can also bypass the plugin completely by clicking here on the logo. An old producer trick is to collapse bass lines to mono. This ensures that they will mesh with the kick more effectively and better translate to a wider range of playback systems. In fundamental bass, you can do this by dragging the stereo mono slider.
let's solo the highs. Use the balance dial to introduce gentle compression. And the drive dial to add a little or a lot of grit to the sound. You get tube style saturation at low levels and full on distortion when pushed harder. Careful tweaking of the balance and drive can add sparkling top end to bass lines whilst keeping the low end clean and clear. You've also got a stereo width control for the high frequencies. The mix ratio controls can be dialed from 0 to 100. You should use these for introducing more of the original signal or mimicking parallel compression. Let's add a kick and snare. Within the meter section, there are high and low cut filter handles. These are really useful if you want to quickly get rid of unwanted frequencies or make way for a kick or snare part. One last control to mention, this master clipper smooths out the dynamics of the outgoing audio. You can save your parameters or load presets by clicking just here or using the arrows to browse the range of presets from full range bass compression to frequency specific transformations. So that's Fundamental Bass in a nutshell, the first plugin in your bass mixing chain, giving you a simple way to even out low end dynamics and glue your bass to the center of your mix. For more information, check out the WA Production site or head to Plugin Boutique.